let's talk about narrowing a topic. Once you have started with a broad topic, diabetes, opioid crisis, etc., the next steps are to start narrowing down a little bit. I'm going to go with the diabetes topic for now. A really good place to start looking is at the National Institute of Health, the CDC, and similar professional organizations and government agencies that have a stock or have done research or is an authority on your topic. Often they will have trending topics or featured topics to kind of get an idea of what are these institutions, agencies, organizations, etc. talking about in relation to your broad topic. There you may be able to find a way to narrow down your topic. So I'm going to go with gestational diabetes. So my next step is to jump into Articles Plus and just do a broad search for my slightly narrow topic of gestational diabetes to see what kind of information is out there. So because Articles Plus is so multidisciplinary, I'm getting a lot of different perspectives, not just from health and medicine. So I'm going to go ahead and limit this just to the last like two years to see about what is trending, what is going on in relation to the literature. So Articles Plus will give me news articles, books, etc. Right now I'm looking at these academic journals and some of the scholarly work that's coming out related to my topic, and I'm just going to kind of peruse. Another way you can limit your topic is to think about what era you might want to focus on. So maybe I want to focus on a specific age group. So I just saw this age specific alterations in this title, but that made me think, well, maybe I'm looking at gestational diabetes and a specific population, maybe children. Maybe what are the effects of gestational diabetes in children when they grow up? Another option here is by location. So because we're in Appalachia, I can add to my topic, well, let's see what this looks like in Appalachia. And now I'm going to go ahead and add Ohio to that too, since Ohio is part of the Appalachian region. Narrow it down just a little bit more. Part of this is kind of the give and take to see what the literature can provide, as well as what kind of interest that you may have and you don't know what you don't know. So by kind of slowly playing around to see what kind of information you're going to find, you can stumble upon a more specific topic.